So I don't know what Lucinda is doing guys. I don't understand what is going on, but apparently she is back with Bradley. Really? Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this villa. I think it's really disrespectful. The fact that the, this video, not villa, wow. Uh, I think it's really disrespectful that she's done this all within a week. She's broken up with Aaron and she's back with Brad all within a week. Aaron could have still been in the villa. His time was completely wasted and I feel like it's just not fair on him and I feel like she played him like an absolute fiddle and you know she pretended to be into him and she chose him over Danny and I said this the only reason she chose Aaron is because she knew that he was popular in the show because him and Kaz were saved multiple times as a friendship couple him knowing that she, um, she, um, her knowing this she'd want to be she preferably would couple up with him then with Brad or then with um, Danny or anybody else and then when Brad got dumped, she was crying as if her man got sanctioned to go to war, crying for 40 days and 40 nights. And it seems that that actually never really, that she should have gone with him. She never went with him when he got dumped. And I think that is, again, showing that she really is a fake game player um, and then lied and pretended to be with Aaron and wasted his time in the villa. But then again, the game is the game, guys. A lot of people go in there and pretend to be someone they're not. They go in there and pretend to like people that they don't. And, you know, they want to be in there for a long time because they want the followers. They want the deals at Shoe Zone, Peacocks, PLT, all these places. That is what they, you know, would really want. And it just really highlights and shows how a lot of these people on these, a lot of these contestants on these current new seasons are really there just for fake reasons and we need to weed them out. And I feel like, you know, we weeded her out. We knew from day dot that this girl was faking it and wanted to be Molly Mae 2.0 and we voted her out. And you know, it is what it is. So I'm glad that she's not in the villa right now, but I just think it's disrespectful that you've done this so quickly within a week to the fans and especially to Aaron and also the fact that you've used him so much. And are you even into Brad or are you doing that as well as a cop out just to remain in some kind of couple situation to kind of gain as much clout as you can? I don't know, I'm not buying any of this. It only really, um, it reminds us as an audience how fake this person is so it doesn't really help her I really don't think it does and I think people online are reacting to it and they're quite annoyed as well saying so you cried about him leaving watching her watched her national t um, TV lips and up two different uh, man days afterwards and then took her out for a date hand in hand is he a worn out doormat I'm dead someone said Brad find shame this is a whole entanglement Lucinda is the real game player well she's not because she got dumped from the island because we knew what her game was someone said this date must have been so boring um, both clowns um, but Aaron is the biggest clown justice for Aaron this woman is absolutely scary and I definitely agree Lucinda is scary as hell guys Lucinda is scary as hell. That date must have been so boring. Brad must have just talked about himself and Lucinda would have just been saying really, really all her life. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Brad and Lucinda are together. They are an official Love Island couple. This is absolutely hilarious. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, a daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.